Fourth and goal. Brought to you by WEEI.com. Welcome back to Fourth and Goal. This week, we're taking a look at the Patriots Dolphins set for Sunday at 1 in South Florida. Point number one, the Patriots have to play a complete game. New England continues to struggle offensively in the first half. Patriots have 51 first quarter points this season, including just two first quarter touchdowns over the last six games. On Sunday against the Browns, the Patriots were down 6-0 after two quarters. Six first half possessions went punt, interception, punt, 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 end of half. You know, New England ran just three plays in Cleveland territory in the first half. Fortunately for the Patriots, Miami isn't much better early on with 43 first quarter points through the first 13 games. If form holds, the Patriots should have some chances late, however. The Dolphins have struggled down the stretch. Their 53 fourth quarter points is the fourth lowest total in the league. But New England has managed to light it up over the course of the final quarter. The Patriots have 129 fourth quarter points on the year, second only to Denver's 149. For New England, that includes 84 fourth quarter points in the last six games. The chances will be there. The Patriots just have to execute. Point number two, get the ball to Shane Vereen. With Rob Gronkowski now out for the rest of the season, Vereen is your best and most dynamic offensive option. The running back is a matchup nightmare and had a terrific game against the Browns with 12 catches on a whopping 17 targets for 153 yards, both of which were franchise records for running back. Vereen will be asked to carry more of the offensive load going forward and has the positional versatility and skill set to be able to put pressure on an opposing defense on a number of levels. He's two carries from being a 40-catch, 40 40-carry 40 guy, one of the hallmarks of a truly special offensive option. Kevin Falk and Danny Woodhead were the last two running backs in New England to hit that mark. This year, Vereen averages 7.2 yards every time he touches the ball, one of the best totals on the team. Get him in space against the Dolphins' defense, and he'll be able to do some damage. Point number three, bottle up the Dolphins' run game. Get it, bottle, Dolphins? Because of the snow, as well as the fact they were taking advantage of a suspect Steelers run defense, the Dolphins were very impressive on the ground Sunday against Pittsburgh, rushing for 181 yards as a team. There are some questions about the group going forward. Starting running back Lamar Miller suffered a concussion in the third quarter of that one, and as a result, his status for this week's game is currently up in the air. Tailback Daniel Thomas, who has been dealing with an ankle injury as of late, ran well against Pittsburgh, finishing with a game-high 105 yards and a touchdown on just 16 carries. The Patriots were able to have some success slowing the Cleveland running game last Sunday, but regardless of who's in the backfield for the Dolphins on Sunday, it figures to be something of a sterner test for New England. Miami's averaging 95.8 yards per game, a little better than the Browns, but not much. The Patriots are able to find a way to slow down the Miami running game that'll go a long way towards securing a win. Point number four, as if New England needed any more motivation this week, as Teddy Bruschi used to say, this one is a hat and a t-shirt game. Patriots have the opportunity to clinch the division with a win over Miami. If they can pull it off, it'll mark the fifth straight division title for the Patriots and allow them to officially clinch a spot in the postseason. With that bit of business done, it will allow them to focus on bigger things, that is to say, securing the number two spot in the playoff picture. A win Sunday over the Dolphins would also allow them to maintain their lead over the Bengals with just two games to go. Miami has done a lot of good things on both sides of the ball. Tight end Charles Clay has really stepped forward to become an integral part of the offense Ryan Tannehill continues to evolve as one of the better young quarterbacks in the game. But I think the Patriots have a slight edge, particularly on special teams. It won't be easy. It never is with this New England team, but I think the Patriots win this thing 28-24. For WEI.com, I'm Chris Price. For more exclusive Patriots content, visit WEI.com slash Patriots.